How's it going, guys? My name is Jamal, and I'm actually going to do make this video about the top five, the top ten, no, the top ten reasons. So, the top, top, the top, so the five, I'm going to, all right, let me restart this. So, this video I'm going to do is about the PS5, and I'm going to do five reasons why you should not buy a PS5, and five reasons why you should buy a PS5. So... I'm going to start with the five reasons why you should buy a PS5. So the first reason is this. If you really love PlayStation, now I've been a PlayStation person for about like almost for about uh, seven years now, okay? So when I was younger, okay, like, um, like baby and all that stuff, like five, six, seven, okay. I had original Xbox. Oops, sorry. And then in 2005, I got the Xbox 360. I got the white one. And then in 2010, they made the Xbox Slim, which was black. So I had that for quite a while, too, and then it ended up breaking. So then in 2013, I switched over to the PS3. The PS3 that I got was the Slim, the 500 gigabyte one, the one that like slides on top, and you put the disc in that slides over. I had that one for quite a while. So, then I had the PS4, the Star Wars edition, Battlefront, the first one, not the second one, the first one, the Trapezoid one. And then I ended up giving that away because of my biological mother. And then I ended up buying a PS4 Pro. So, I had a couple PS4 Pros, actually. I think the one I have is my eighth. That's my eighth one, actually. So, I've been with PlayStation for quite a while. And so this video is going to be about why you should not and why should you. So the first reason why you should buy a place a PS5 is because it looks nicer. It's really, it's taller, okay? And you can stand it up and basically put it, like, anywhere. You don't have to exactly lay it on the ground, but you can also take it apart, which is really easy and simple. You know, just to clean out rather than, like, with the PS4, you have to go through everything. You just have to take off, like, the two white covers and stuff, plates and stuff, and then you go into it. But, so, it's really nice. I really like it. I don't have one myself. I wish I did. But it's a really, like, genuine, like, console. And it's something that, like, I can actually admire. And it actually has that, like, futuristic kind, you know? Even though it looks like a router... I don't care. I'd rather have a router over than a trash can. And, like, you can, like, do so much with it. So the second reason why you, sh um, you should buy a PS5 is because you should actually also keep your PS4. The reason why I'm saying that is because anything can happen. And I understand, like, yes, they have two different ones, like the digital and standard. But... And real, realistically, they're only a hundred dollars different. And there's an ambulance coming. Damn, Westboro! Holy shit! I used to work out there. Anyway, so you have a couple of different varieties and stuff. Okay, you have the standard and you have the digital. Honestly, it it shouldn't even make a difference. You know, like you know, on which one, like, they should have, obviously, with the, di the digital one, they should have did, like, a PS4, Pro, uh, PS5 Pro, okay, because with the standard one, you can probably, like, still do, like, um, digital games and stuff on it, you know, they don't need to make a second one, okay, so that was kind of, like, a waste of everything else like that, too, but honestly, I love them both, you know, the third reason why you should buy one is because you can actually swap out the one terabyte hard drive and get a two terabyte, a four terabyte, a six terabyte hard drive, any size that you want with it. You can swap that out and you can actually save that one terabyte for like, you know, like just in case one breaks, you still have a backup to hold up all your games. So that's pretty cool of what they did. Um, 812 gigabytes, I think I could be wrong that the PS5 does have, but I'm not going to lie, too. It is, like, a router, and it's, like, all... It's supposed to be, like, the future. But when it first came out... So, like, back in, like, the 
the beginning of 2020 how they did the controller. Now, the controller actually, like, spoke my mind. A lot of people say, like, oh, it looks like the Xbox and the PS3, um, PS4 controller had a baby, which is actually false. It's, like, a false statement, I should say. So, it's not true. The only reason why, because they made it bigger, but they made it more, like, you can actually feel yourself playing it, too. But they want to give it, like, another shine to it. And then when they came out with the um, promo for it, not the promo, but the introduction of what the PS5 is going to look like when it comes to the headsets and the camera, all that stuff, too. It's, like, that 360 shit, and it had, like, a really good, like, background and bass of music. So that was really fucking interesting. Sorry for my language, but it is what it is. 2020, what do you expect? Okay, and the fourth reason why you should buy a PS5 is because if your oops sorry so if your PS4 breaks you have a PS5 that can still play the exact same games as your PS4 which is backward compatibility so me I wish Sony did this for the PS4 and PS3 cuz they would have had a shit ton of more freaking money and stuff, and they would have made a lot of sales, too, when they should have did that, but they never did, so, you can play, like, yes, you can play, like, you know, like, some PS5 games on the PS4, which, that's all, I'm gonna also mention that, too, on the, why you shouldn't buy a PS5, so, that's pretty cool that they ended up doing that, you know, making it where, like, yes, you can, like, play, like, PS5 games you know, um, on the PS4, PS4 games with the PS5 and stuff like that, too. That's pretty cool and pretty unique on how they did that. Not gonna lie. The fifth reason why you should never buy, you should, you should buy, actually, you should buy a PS5 is because, like, you should always try to keep all of your consoles, or try to, because they could be worth a lot of money. And when you have kids and grandkids, you can show them and stuff in your time period. So it's not like um you're wasting your money, but you're actually like you can actually like share and say, Hey, I have a PS5, I have a PS4, I have a PS3, I have a PS7, the PS1, I have a PSP, I have a PS Vita. Um PSP Vita, yes. You know, you have if you have that entire collection of it. You're a true PlayStation motherfucker, or MF, I should say. So, those are the five reasons why I, me personally, think that you should. Now, here's the five reasons why you shouldn't buy a PS5. Number one. Actually, number five. I'm going to start with number five. Number five. It's, okay. If you have a PS4, okay? And a lot of people say, like, oh, I want to I wanna sell my PS4 to get a PS5. Okay, you sell your PS4, but all the next thing you know, the PS5s are all sold out, so you have nothing to play. You have absolutely nothing to play. Okay, so you 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 li- you legitimately sold your PS4, and you want to get a PS5. Now you have no game and no nothing, and the person that you probably sold it to, and so probably already pre-ordered his or her PS5, and also got a free probably got a really sweet deal on your PS4 and stuff like that too. So you're an idiot for that, okay? The fourth reason why you should never buy a PS5 is because it's so, so, so mind-blowing how so many people can just buy a PS5 and sell it. You know, never, you should never, ever, ever in your entire life sell a brand new next generation console. The reason why I'm saying that is because you are literally throwing money away. And Sony actually did make this, like, statement, too, on um, Twitter. And um, I know I got a, I didn't get an email, but I got, like, a thing on my PlayStation where they were actually tracking down some gamers who were actually were actually put on, planning on selling the the PS5 to make a profit off of it. That's why it was a rumor going around on Twitter and on um, Twitch and on actually in one of my lobbies too when I was playing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare 
zombies. I didn't record it at the time being, but it was um, me and a couple other guys who were actually in a group chat, well, in a game chat, and with like six or seven other people, we finished playing zombies, and I joined their um, their session, and we were playing team deathmatch. No, not team deathmatch. Yeah, we played team deathmatch and gun game. And one of my um, Canadian friends, Ziggy, actually. Um, no, not Ziggy. It was someone else, actually. I think it was him. I don't know. But anyway. So we ended up, it was, it was like a huge talk about it. Like the FBI was going to like come in and stuff like that, too. And like arrest people and stuff like that. So that's something that you should actually be careful of doing. And so, yeah, so that was something that kind of scared us a little bit. It didn't scare us, but it was, like, really, like, sketchy. But uh, it made sense because Sony didn't want their, like, you know, their consoles being sold to other people. So the third reason why you should never buy a PS, uh, PS5 is because, as I, that I mentioned it in the five reasons why you should, is because the games, okay? So... You can play PS4 games with PS5, but honestly, I would actually really wait before you buy a PS5, wait until they become more available. And Sony kind of like screwed up. I think Xbox and Sony actually really definitely screwed up this year because of the whole pandemic. But I think Sony and Xbox. Actually, Xbox the most, actually. Xbox the most, they should have actually waited before they release any consoles, and they should have waited until, like, maybe next year, you know? Maybe, like, I say, like, maybe, like, April of next year, maybe May, to actually, like, release, like, game, like their consoles and the games itself. Because... I feel like that if you re- if you waited some more time and you actually like fixed the bugs because a lot of people are saying that the PS4 the PS5 has a lot of bugs in it and they haven't resolved the issue so I would have waited a little bit more but I would also waited for a lot more games to come out so like I would have honestly like saved up a lot of but they should have actually did it was make more like make more consoles right for each state okay each state make like a bunch of copies and stuff too for digital and standard, right? And like have those stores hold them, right? And get them shipped. So like let's say example, if I pre-ordered the um PS5 digital and standard, right? And I paid what like eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand dollars for it, right? So immediately, right? Is if I put all my information in, oops, sorry about that. Um, they should have it where okay, you bought a PS5, you shouldn't buy no more. You're not allowed to, until um there's more available and you can you can go in stores and purchase so they can track down how many people bought them so they wouldn't resell them again to those people. Only for the ones that who haven't got their PS5 copy should be the ones to get them. So that's my own personal opinion about it. So, Sony should have did that. Same with Xbox. The second reason why you shouldn't buy a PS5 is because it's like, um, it's $100 different, okay? It's $100 different. I think the digital one, they should have actually waited and stuff before releasing the digital one. So, like, you know how, like, PlayStation, right? You know how, like, they did, like, the Spider-Man edition how they had like the whole spider-man like skin and stuff for the ps4 pro they should have did that so i think that they should have did like with the mom miles morales they should have made like a skin like that and like the controller looking like that too same with like god of war call of duty cold war and stuff like that too they should have made skins so it looked really nice for each one for like the edition and stuff like that too, but also charge like maybe like okay instead of four ninety nine we can do like four seventy nine or something like that or five hundred you know. But they should have actually did it where you can you can still play like digital games you can download them off of the PlayStation Network yes, or the PlayStation Store yes you can do all that, but 
they should have actually waited to they should have waited. And the same thing goes for Xbox too. Is that they shouldn't have made the digital one maybe like around Christmas time, you know? Or New Year's or Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day or April Fool's Day or stuff like that too. They should have waited before they made them both together. Because when you have two consoles together, it's like outrageous. So, but they also should have did one say like, okay, if you pre-order Subaru, I don't know, um, yeah, WRX, STI. So, oh shit, it's pink. Oh shit, nice. Anyway, so they ended up they ended up doing both. So that's something I didn't really like about when they did that, but that's my own personal opinion. The number one reason why you should never buy a PS5 is because if you really, if you, so basically everything that I just said makes sense and stuff. So if you, if you really do want, don't want to buy a PS5, just buy a PS4, okay? It's like 200 bucks, you know, maybe some with taxes and stuff like that too, depending on where you are. And just buy, you know, just get the one year, you know, 12 month uh, PlayStation Plus because you get free, you get three, you get three free games each month, okay? <clears throat> it's not that bad. And on top of that, too, you never know. Like, hey, out of those three, out of the three free games that you get, you can probably even get Call of Duty Cold War for crying out loud for free. For you know, you never know. And with the headset and stuff like that, too, just buy like regular like Turtle Beaches. I have a Razer headset that's for like PC, you know, but it still works for my PS4 controller, you know. If you just want like a white controller, hell, you can go get a white controller at um, Best Buy, you know. All of that. Like, it's not gonna make a difference, okay? Like, yeah, like what I'm saying is actually really truthful because I honestly, so the reason why I wanted a PS4, I actually wanted three of them, okay? Because I wanted to give one to my older brother. Well, actually, I wanted four, actually. I wanted four of them, to be quite honest. Because I want to give one to my mother, Marie. I want to give it to her son, Emil, who lives in California. The second one I was going to give to my old, my actual older brother, Michael. And then the other two, one was going to be for me. The, uh, the third one, I was actually going to donate for Toys for Tots, for kids who don't, like, have it and stuff. I was actually going to donate it or give it to my ex-girlfriend, whichever one. But I was actually thinking about actually donating it, Toys for Tots, you know, for kids who don't really have, like, Christmas gifts, you know, give it to someone that special, you know, <clears throat> all of that. But, sadly, they all got sold out all over the freaking country. So, yeah. So, if you do like this video, hit that like button. If you want to comment and, you know, you can disagree with me, too. You know, if you say, like, comment to me saying, oh, I disagree with you with everything you say, tell me what you disagree about, you know? It's not going to kill you. If you want to have an argument or debate about it, we can do it in another, um, another video. So, yes. You can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is Jamal Antonio M A three. My Facebook is Jamal Antonio Maze. My Snapchat is Jamal underscore Maze. My Instagram is uh, Maze Jamal Antonio. My Twitch is Maze A Jamal um, you can put, you can ask me down in the comments down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well too, if you want to see me, um, talk about <clears throat> the top 10, um, the five reasons why you should buy an Xbox and you shouldn't buy an Xbox, put that down below. Um, if you want to hear me on my own opinion about politics, you can comment that down below as well too and stuff on who really should have won the election and hear my own input and output in it as well too. 
if you want to see me do some reaction videos to hit that um comment down below what you want me to react to whether it's tiktok videos cartoons um movie quote um you know any type of movie you want to see me react to other streamers and stuff like that too it could be anything if you want to see me do some more vlogs i probably tomorrow i'll do part three of what to expect from data naps so i'll probably do that too so yeah so part three would probably yeah so that would be part three i'll probably do part four as well tomorrow as well too depending on what's going on tomorrow don't really know but yeah, if you also want me to do some more MBTA uh, train videos too, I gotta get those done as well. I gotta take my trip to Boston. So I'll probably do a couple videos. I'll do one when the train is coming into Worcester. Um, and I'll do a bunch more probably at like Back Bay or Ruggles Station. Maybe I'll do some at Forest Hills. I'll probably go to Reedville. Um, do all that as well, too, or Forge Park 495. Raven Cell Station, I'll probably do them when they're all coming in. Whenever the snow comes or whatever, probably after. Maybe going into next week. Well, actually, I can't because I have my surgery next week. So, next week, I'll be getting all four of my wisdom teeth removed. So, I probably will not be doing videos. Probably until, like, maybe January will be my next video. Probably. So I'm going to try to get a bunch of videos done this week for gaming and for everything else like that too. And I'll let my gamer, my viewers know about what's going to happen in the next couple of days and how my videos are going to go. So I'll probably do one last video before my get my wisdom teeth removed. And then after that, it'll go on from there. So if you really do like this, if you really do like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs up button. In the meantime, see you guys next time. Peace.